the cross. subscription wow what a treat all right i always appreciate that all right um welcome back to the show welcome back to the thunderdome ladies and gentlemen i am your host i am your pilot all right and it is time once again to engage in an all-out warfare against lies disinformation and misinformation being peddled by uh vladimir putin and the kremlin and Donald Trump and his legion of demons, MAGA, all right, all right? But before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, you know what we must do. We must take care of some housekeeping items. For those of you who do not know who I am, I go by the name Zeus, or as some like to say, Triple H. And why do they call me Triple H? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's quite simple. The first H stands for honest. I am the most honest person on social media, all right? Hands down, there's no one more honest than me. All right. The second H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am humble. There's nobody more humble than me. Listen, if I get it wrong, I will be the first to apologize. It just turns out I haven't been wrong lately. All right. And just because your your feelings are hurt, 
That doesn't mean I owe you an apology. Most likely it means you need to go look at the man or woman in the mirror and actually reflect on what the real problem is. All right. Nine times, actually 11 times out of 10, it's most likely you. All right. But the last and final H, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Andy, is because I am and will always remain the most handsome. I really am the most handsome. All right. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. This flight's about to take off. All right. For those of you who aren't familiar with what we do over here on this side of town or on this side of TikTok, it's quite simple. What we do is very special. We hold our friends on the right, especially their leader, Donald J. Trump, accountable for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds as well as their crimes. And believe you me, there's a lot of dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds going on. Greetings, facts still matter. There's a, there's a lot of dirty, disgusting, um, filthy deeds going on, especially when we're talking about the MAGA Republicans, all right? And so listen up. Uh, if you're one of those folks out there who are factose and intolerant, like my good friend Brother Swervin likes to say, that means you're allergic to the facts. You might want to leave this live and go on about your miserable day, all right? You go hang out with those fake TikTok hosts, those fake TikTok lawyers, those fake Christians, those fake patriots. You go hang out with them, all right? Because they're going to lie to you and make you think a lot of nasty things that aren't really true, all right? But if you stay here, you're going to end up learning something, all right? But if you're possessed with that MAGA demon, you know what I say? I say, if you're happy, it's not going to make you feel too happy when you hear what we have to say, right? If you're hungry, you're not going to be so hungry after you hear what we got to say, all right? And that's exactly how we want it to be. So if you don't want to go through any of that, you know what you should do? You should leave this live ASAP, all right? Because it's going to get uncomfortable. But get this. You don't have to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy, U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Right. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Right? If you're not happy in the United States of America today, do us all a huge favor. Don't cry another day in this country. Save your tears and go ahead and fly to Russia to be with your Lord and Savior, Vladimir Putin. I, and, I, and I do mean that, all right? Because what I'm not going to do is allow Donald Trump and his supporters to ever feel like victims around me. You will never be able to be a victim unless you, first of all, apologize to the United States of America and truly, truly repent, all right? Because the nastiness, listen, these folks are in a cult, ladies and gentlemen, and their allegiance to this cult has drugged this nation through round after round after round of nothing but abuse and trauma, all right? And so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing else left to do other than to, to get right into it. I'm going to continue to hamper, home, uh, hamper this point home, all right? Hammer this point home. Uh, my conservative friends love to ask me, uh, am I, were we better off today than we were four years ago? And the answer to that question is an obvious no, an H no, you know, hell no, right? Hell no, we weren't better off four years ago, all right? I want to remind every single one of you MAGA demons what was happening four years ago. So ladies and gentlemen, let's, t let's go back in time real quick before we get started with today's topic to talk about what was going on around four years ago uh, when the pandemic was tearing this country to shreds, and Donald Trump was lying to the American people, all right? This is, this, listen to this exchange, all right? You all remember this with Jim Acosta, all right? What do you say to Americans who are upset with you over the way you downplayed this crisis over the last couple of months? Uh, we have it very much under control in this country. The coronavirus is very much under control in the USA. It's going to disappear. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. At March 4th, uh, we have a very small number of people in this country infected. March 10th, we're prepared. We're doing a great job with it. It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. What do you okay, say to Americans who believe that you got this wrong? And I do want them to stay calm. And we are doing a great job. If you look at those individual statements, they're all true. Stay calm. Uh, it will go away. You know it, you know it is going away. And it will go away. And we're going to have a great victory. 
and it's people like you and CNN that say things like that, that uh, it's why people just don't want to listen to CNN anymore. You could ask a normal question. The statements I made are, I want to keep the country calm. I don't want panic in the country. I could cause panic much better than even you. I could do much. I would make you look like a minor league player. But you know what? I don't want to do that. I want to have our country be calm and strong and fight and win. And it will go away. And it is incredible the job that all of these people are doing, putting them all together, the job that they're doing. I am very proud of the job they're doing, that Mike Pence is doing, that the tech... Wow. Say wow. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, four years ago, listen up, you Trump supporters. You weren't buying groceries in a grocery store. You weren't buying no eggs. You weren't filling up your tanks with gas and traveling all over the United States of America. You were in a full-fledged panic mode because the pandemic was raging throughout this nation, costing millions of Americans their lives while Donald Trump was pretty much the captain of the ship. So please... Stop lying on TikTok saying you were doing great four years ago from today when you know good and well you weren't. And this guy right here said Mike Pence and everybody else was doing a great job. And he was he was standing on business. He was proud of the work that he was doing while this country continued to suffer. You Trump supporters, this is why I say what I say. I say if Donald Trump was such a great president, as you like to say, he was tough on immigration, right? He, the economy was doing great. If he was so great, why didn't he get a second term, MAGA? See, I wasn't even going to be this upset today. But every time I listen to this guy talk and I think about how dangerous he is, I can't help but get upset. This guy lied to Americans and his supporters to this day four years ago will continue to ignore it and cover it up and act like it never happened. You all are you all are despicable. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got to do? We got to kick this show off bright and early on a Monday morning. It's April 1st, and you know what we got to do? Start this month off by giving Donald Trump what he deserves. Our first honorable round of booze and shame. Let's give it to him. I have not lied once. I have not lied once. Silence, you never demon. You know, these folks are out there complaining in my comments section, uh, and, and they're trying to say that I lied. Again, please, when I open up those boxes, you liar, you, 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 you MAGA demon, come in the box and be prepared to speak on what it is I'm lying about. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I got this thing now. I got the violin going on standby. When I talk to a Trump supporter, you know what they want to do. They want to get in the box and they want to over talk you. I'm just going to play the crying violin. I'm going to play that violin because unless you can actually get in the box and behave, I just know what you're going to do. You're going to start yelling and unleashing the MAGA demon. And you know what I found out? That that crying violin, ladies and gentlemen, when the MAGA demon is ranting and raving, oh, it goes real good. All right, I'm getting a lot of engagement. <laughs> So yes, all you MAGA demons, come in the box and cry and tell us just how much you're a victim. Don't listen to Trump supporters anymore because they're a bunch of liars sending me DM. You know, I didn't want to go into this, but I'm going to my good friend z -Pak, right? Uh, this past weekend, it was Friday actually, we got to go sit in and listen to Michael Cohen. You know who he is, right? The, the Donald Trump's former attorney, he's the fixer, right? And we go into the boxes and, you know, all of these Trump supporters that I regularly engage in this all-out warfare with, Poly Politics, you were there, Shay, you were there too, they started losing, they started losing their mind. Zeus! This is what one of the Russian bears said, Zeus, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You are talking to somebody that's been convicted and sent to prison, Zeus. How could you align yourself with a crimp? This is what they said to Zeus. And I got to say this to them, especially to you. Jay Bear and Stacy Bear and Snuggle Bear and Gator Vet and all of you MAGA demons. I gotta say this. 
First of all, I can talk to whoever I want to. It's my platform. When I open up that app, I go wherever I want to go on this app. That's my business, all right? But for the sake of the conversation, how dare you sit there and judge Michael Cohen, who we all know has turned his life around to help get this country back on track. You want to judge him for his past. Oh, he's a criminal. But then at the same time, you call yourself a Christian and you're supporting Donald Trump, the most dangerous criminal in the United States of America. Do you not see the hypocrisy? You Trump supporters, this is what I am talking about. Have you no dignity? Have you no decency left in your, in your, in your mortal bodies? You Trump supporters are nothing more than vassals of transgression. Don't you dare utter a word of judgment against anyone on this app until you first take that beam out of your eye. You know, there's a the book, the good book says, how can you tell somebody to take a splinter out of their eye when you got a big old log, big old two by fours sitting in your eyes? Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we gotta do. Join me in giving Jay Bear, the cro you know, and all the Russian bears who had a problem with me talking to Michael Cohen because they were trying to say he's a criminal. But then at the same time, they're voting for Donald Trump and his 88 felony charges, who's also been found liable for S.A. and E. Jean Carroll, 26 other women who've also accused him of S.A. And they have no problem supporting this guy. But all of a sudden they find their moral compass when they see us talking to other folks. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them some booze and shame. <laughs> Speaking of how dangerous Donald Trump is, ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got to talk about. We got to talk about uh, how citizens uh, all over this country are demanding that Donald Trump be arrested. All right. And, 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 and we're now past the point of, hey, let's trust it in the process. I am at the point with Donald Trump like, hey, whoever can do it, put him in the handcuffs. Put him in jail right now, and we'll figure it out. Right, ladies and gentlemen? Let's put him in jail right now. We don't got time to play around with this guy. Earlier in March, Trump attended the funeral of NYPD officer Jonathan Diller, who tragically lost his life in a recent traffic stop. In a video captured at the event, two trucks, two trucks adorned with flags driven by MAGA demons all right, had decals endorsing Trump prominently displayed an image of President Biden on the second truck on the second truck. All right. The display, however, sparked an immediate backlash from citizens who flooded social media with their opinions on the matter. Some even calling for Trump's arrest. One person wrote, do you agree that Donald Trump needs to be immediately re arrested for showing this image of President Biden on Truth Social? Um. Let me see. Let me see. Do we have this image, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, let me see if I have this image. All right. Let me see what I found on his little truth social platform where we all know this is where he goes. Yeah, this is where Donald Trump goes to give his his Confederate soldiers their daily orders to answer the question. Do I think he should be arrested? I don't. I got to keep it clean. All right. I'm going to be clean. But the answer is hell yes. He needs to be arrested and jailed immediately. <laughs> Another user wrote, I'm seeing a whole lot of tweets about Trump threatening picture of Biden, but what am I not seeing is an effing arrest warrant to incarcerate his, his behind, all right? Jails are open on the weekend. Do it, all right? Additionally, ladies and gentlemen, one user went on to say, this is what the monster just posted, a realistic picture of President Biden tied up helpless in the back of a van with Trump gloating mugshot in the front scene. He is threatening the president's life, and that is a felony. If anyone else would do it, the feds would arrest them. What is taking so long? And that's a good question. Ladies and gentlemen, enough is enough. Right, Takesha? I don't know if you hear Takesha. Enough is enough with this knucklehead, right? It is now time for the American people, the DOJ, call it Biden's DOJ, to do it. It is now time to place Donald Trump in handcuffs, all right? He is out on bond committing more crimes. You want to talk about a two-tier justice system? 
That's the perfect example. How can he continue to do this and not be in prison? Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Donald Trump what he deserves because he should be in jail, but he's still out and he has no shame, so we got to give it to him. Join me in giving Donald Trump another round of booze and shame. <laughs> I see I got some dissension in my comment section. Uh, you don't like my broadcast? You don't like my broadcast? Well, you must not have heard me at the top of the show, all right? But let me remind you, MAGA demons. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Come here. Come here, come here Snuggles. A lot of you Trump supporters. I get it. You graduated from Snuggles University. You know who Snuggles is, right? He's one of these TikTok creators that spreads lies and misinformation on behalf of Vladimir of Donald Trump, right? And Donald Trump spreads it on behalf of Vladimir Putin. Listen, Snuggles got his degree from Trump University, and he's a struggler. Struggle bubbles, struggle pancakes, struggle honey buns, struggle in the way. Yeah, he's a struggler. Yeah, yeah. I'm a uh, clickbait, <laughs> HVAC, <laughs> whatever you want to call yourselves. Uh, uh, who who else is out there? Who did I miss anyone? There's too many of you. Silent John, Seditionist Larry, Jason. All of you graduated from Snuggles University. I get it. <laughs> You're out here looking like a bunch of a bunch of knuckleheads. I gotta keep it clean. You folks are just so de uh, so deranged. Wow. Let's move it on, ladies and gentlemen. We got more to talk about. All right. Speaking of Trump and his violence, uh, there was a judge that uh, made it a point to say something that I think. <laughs> Is something we all need to definitely keep in mind. Retired California Superior Judge Ladoris Hazard Cordell, during an apprentice, I mean during an appearance on CNN yesterday, was asked about Trump's recent decisions to attack the family of the judge um, in the former president's criminal case. In one instance, like I said earlier, he posted multiple photos of the judge's daughter. Right? <clears throat> and during her interview. Cordell said Trump is just like a child and has to be told what to do. Listen to what listen to what she said, ladies and gentlemen. This is serious. Thank you, Stephen, for the subscription. All right. All right. But, you know, in all of that, Trump does need to be prepared to go to jail. Because he has cautioned. He has never once, never cautioned his followers to abstain from making threats and otherwise attack his targets. He wants to put people in fear for their lives by having his followers do his dirty work. Uh, so, Omar, the job of a trial judge is to ensure a fair trial for both sides and to manage the courtroom to ensure law and order. So when you have a disruptor like Donald Trump, judges have tools to rein them in. Mm. They have warnings, you've got fines, you've got gag orders, you've got incarceration. And warnings and fines haven't worked with Trump. So, you know, when I think about what Donald Trump is doing, it's akin to it's something I read in a very famous book called Please Don't Eat the Daisies, written by Jean Kerr. She's a wonderful humorist and author. And she describes an incident in the book that gave the title to the book, where she tells her children things that not to do at her dinner party. However, after seeing only a few stems sticking out of the table centerpiece, she realized she neglected to include in her do not rules that they should not eat the daisies. And Trump, just like a child, has to be told what he cannot do, no matter how obvious. Like, you don't threaten people. You, you don't, don't threaten judges. You don't threaten family members. So Judge Marchand, uh, I believe, should immediately expand the gag order. Thank you. To include himself and his family members and include D.A. Bragg and his family members. Exactly. Uh, I, I tell you, I fail to understand why judges do not include themselves and their family members in these gag orders. They haven't done so. Their lives and the lives of their families have been subjected to death threats, right. all because of Donald Trump's words. Wow. And that kind of speech is not protected by the First Amendment. So, And what happens, Trump just to throw this in there, what happens when, when Trump, Trump 
breaks that gag order on Truth Social or otherwise. What happens? Right, and, and you said when and not if, and I think you're right, Omar. When he steps across that gag order line, and I do hope it will be expanded, there should be only one response. Bring your toothbrush, <laughs> Donald Trump, because you're going to sit in a jail cell for Thank a you. while. There has to be an thank immediate you. consequence when he defies a court order. That thank you, thank you, thank you. Bring your toothbrush, Donald Trump, because we know <laughs> you're going to break the gag order. But first, they need to expand the gag order to cover the judge and Alvin Bragg. We're way past giving him the benefit of the doubt, ladies and gentlemen. And it is now time to put... Donald Trump in jail and make him take his toothbrush. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you all to join me once again in giving Donald Trump the, the most dangerous criminal in the United States. And yet folks like Jay Bear continue to support him. Join me in giving him another round of booze and shame. <laughs> I wasn't going to, you know, I was going to go light today, ladies and gentlemen, but after living through this past weekend, I am convinced that Donald Trump is pretty much trying to start January 6th all over again, right? He doesn't, he might not even wait until this election to, 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 to plan his next attack on the United States Capitol at this rate. This guy and his legion of MAGA demons... <laughs> They, they are really losing it. Why, why are you losing it, MAGA? I thought you were winning. I thought your poll numbers were doing so well. I thought Biden has Sleepy Joe. He's not. If you're winning, you don't got to do all of this. But I get it. It's starting to get in. To, it's starting to seep in, huh? You're starting to understand just how serious these court cases are for Donald Trump, huh? And that's exactly where I want you because you're not winning. Snuggles, come a little closer, bro. Do me a favor, Snuggles. Sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast. All right? You and your supporters are definitely crossing a line. And as far as I'm concerned, you're, you're on your way to getting that ultimate MAGA reward. And, and ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't know what the ultimate MAGA reward is, let me tell you. Jail... And if you don't get your soul right, hell. And then there's a chapter 11 in between, you know, because you're going to go broke. <laughs> and every single one of you Trump supporters are going to get it, get it, right? It's guaranteed or your money back, all right? I have no reason to lie to you about that. I can't think of one Trump supporter that has it somewhere down the path, somewhere down the road, gotten that ultimate MAGA reward. Donald Trump is tearing apart all your families. He's costing you your, your careers, all right? And you still don't care. Think about that. And, you, and I know why you're upset. You're not upset with me. You're not upset with the Democrats. You're upset with yourself because the stuff that I'm saying, the real stuff, you can't say it amongst them. You can't say it amongst your other cult members and you can't say it to Donald Trump, MAGA. That's why you're upset. <laughs> and I know, and I'm going to continue to help you understand that, all right? Yeah, you know how Hillary Clinton said you need to be deprogrammed? She's right. And guess what I'm doing? I'm, depro I'm deprogramming your special behinds, right? <laughs> All right, Ms. Bostina. All right, now listen up, ladies and gentlemen. This is how scared Donald Trump's is. Donald Trump's last-ditch effort to delay the trial could see Trump firing his whole legal team. Wow. <laughs> Anything's possible with this guy, right? Donald Trump may be lining up a mass firing of his legal team in a last ditch effort to delay his fast approaching criminal trials. Just two weeks before his hush money case is slated to go to court, which would be the first of four criminal trials to be heard by a jury, former U.S. attorney Joyce Vance, my good friend Joyce, said that he is desperately looking for a way to avoid it. She said, her civil discourse substack that the former president could be could try to force Judge Juan Marchand to recuse himself. But failing that, there are only three options available to him, right? With the trial only two weeks away, Trump is now showing increasing signs of desperation, she wrote. There is also the time-honored strategies of the desperate getting sick or finding a sick or dying family member or firing your lawyers. That's what he's going to do. 
Ladies and gentlemen, jury selection is scheduled to begin April 15th. It concerns business fraud involving payments that he allegedly arranged to an adult movie actress to hide an affair the pair had from voters in the 2016 presidential election, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for Donald Trump from now until trial starts to do everything he can think of. To avoid having to go sit in that courtroom four days a week and be subjected to law and order. The same law and order that he said he supported last week when he went to that officer's funeral. We're about to see Donald Trump try every trick in the book. And I do believe that's why he's threatening even President Biden. He's trying to do whatever he can to avoid justice. But guess what? If all goes as planned, it's not going to work. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Donald Trump once again another round of booze and shame. Oh! like this broadcast you know what i said at the top of the show again if you don't like this level of truth if you're not happy here then you can leave as far as i'm concerned if you hate our country if you're not happy here you can leave if you're not happy in the u.s if you're complaining all the time very simply you can leave all right all right let's move it along ladies and gentlemen all right now, this is interesting right here. I know this is going to make a bunch of you MAGA demons very upset and very triggered. And you should be. All right. All right. But I'm going to tell you this anyway. And this is why I say God bless President Joe Biden. Ladies and gentlemen, number one, let's give Joe Biden a round of applause. <laughs> Biden says his next his next Supreme Court nominee will be an illegal immigrant. I mean, undocumented. I'm so sorry. Quote, if given the opportunity to nominate another justice to our nation's highest court, or if I change my mind about expanding the court, my next nominee will be the first illegal immigrant ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. Biden told reporters outside of the White House, ladies and gentlemen, let's give President Biden a round of applause. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. I was kidding, ladies and gentlemen. April Fools. <laughs> For educational purposes only, TikTok. I was kidding. Biden didn't say that. But you know what? If he did, we wouldn't have a problem with it. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we're going to do. Join me in giving Donald Trump and his supporters another round of booze and shame. Because hypothetically speaking, if Biden were to have said something like this, they would have found themselves triggered once again because you know what they do they complain about everything biden says right let's give him another round of booze and shame <laughs> that was my april fool's joke seriously that was my april fool's joke all right all right all right Y'all forgive me. I was just kidding. That was my April Fool's joke. I figured you guys would appreciate that. All right. All right. Now let's get back onto some more uh, more pressing issues. All right. I am keeping it clean, uh, Queen Flea. I really am. Let's get back to some more uh, pre uh, pressing issues. All right. Uh, and this is just an FYI to all of you MAGA demons. All right. Justice is finally coming to some of the liars and cheats who enable Donald Trump. All right. You want to know what that justice is? Here we go. The arc of the moral universe the one that supposedly long and bending towards justice finally seems to be edging closer to its mark. A series of events in recent days, all right? The, 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 the removal of Ronald McDaniel, the threatening disbarment of John Eastman, and the capitulation of Kerry Lake in a defamation lawsuit suggests a reckoning is truly upon us. It's taken a while. Too long to satisfy those who would rather who would rather justice be swift than sure. But the humiliation visited to McDaniel, the sanctioning of Eastman and Lake, as well as the jailing of Peter Navarro, the Clinton Democrat turned Trump funky, all bring a welcome and much needed measure of accountability. 
Perhaps their punishment will deter others who might similarly endeavor to overthrow a free and fairly conducted election, affronting the country's values and assaulting our democracy with their deceit. The four differ in their deeds, but all are sprung from the same poisoned seed. Donald Trump's lie about the 2020 election, which he lost clearly and indisputably by Joe Biden. McDaniel, while she was head of the RNC committee, not only helped spread Trump's lie, but sought to pressure officials in Michigan, her home state, to withhold certification of Biden's victory. Her reward was a $300,000 a year contract to serve as a political commentator for NBC, which soiled itself in a misguided attempt to bring political diversity to the election coverage. All right. The network backed off of and dumped McDaniel only after a remarkable on-air revolt by several of its marquee personalities who rightly questioned the platforming of a fabulous and accessory to an attempt election sabotage mm. all right and they ladies and gentlemen what this article goes on to point out is while we while, while it is taking us some time to bring these traitors to justice the important thing is they are being brought to justice all right because guess what that's what happens when you're a trump supporter you get the ultimate maga reward so ladies and gentlemen join me in giving ronna mcdaniel peter navarro john eastman and carrie lake what they deserve once again this bright and early on a Monday morning. Another round of booze and shame. Oh, Get them out of here. You know, we got another conspiracy uh, to debunk, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. I was going to play MAGA or not, but we got, we, we're got a little pressed for time. All right? I was going to play MAGA or not, but you know what? We're going to just get straight into it, all right? And then I got to open up these boxes in here from those of you who are who are truly brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you're not familiar with what I do over here, what I do is hold folks on the right, especially their leader, accountable for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, as well as their crimes. All right. And I don't allow you Trump supporters to be victims around me. All right. And that's why we continue to do what we do. Make sure the American people, our fellow Americans, our real, our real Democrats, our real independents, our real Republicans, we make sure they understand just how dangerous of a threat Donald Trump and his legion, his cult following is to the United States, actually to the rest of the world. All right, this is another story I want to make sure we put a pin in. Uh, apparent source of claim that Donald Trump paid off the slain officer's mortgage is all of a sudden walking back their statement. See, right-wing news outlets and MAGA influencers were quick to jump on the rumors that Donald Trump had paid off the mortgage of fallen New York police officer Jonathan Diller. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It appears... That's simply not true. See, we've caught MAGA once again lying. This is some sick stuff. While the ex-president has yet to comment on or debunk the claim that he paid off the home of the man whose wake he recently attended, the apparent source of the information has walked it back. According to publicly available information, Diller's mortgage was paid off, but it was by an organization called Tunnel to Towers Foundation. Tunnel to Towers is honored to announce a mortgage payoff for the family of NYPD officer Jonathan Diller, who was fatally unalive during a routine traffic stop on March 25th, the group said. Officer Diller is survived by his loving wife, Stephanie, and their one-year-old son. All right. This may have been the source of the Trump rumor, says David Zarir. All right. Quote, I may have been mistaken about Trump donating the money to Tunnel Towers for the Diller family. He said, oh, you may have been mistaken. Huh? I have had I had several people approach me. This was the case. I apologize if I reported misinformation, but it was a special day with Trump meeting with the Diller family. Hashtag back the blue. Wow. You see how lies, see, lies travel farther than the truth, all right? And Donald Trump and his supporters know it. But I got the truth, and here it is, and they don't want you to know it. 
This was all a publicity stunt. Donald Trump doesn't care about police officers, not at all. Why would he care about the same police officers who are indicting him and arresting him? He doesn't. Why wouldn't he go and visit these folk, these police officers that were attacked on January 6th, huh? Why hasn't he done that? But then all of a sudden you want us to believe that your cult leader cares about law enforcement? Absolutely not. Especially when one of his lieutenants, Marjorie Trader Green, is out here saying we need to defund the DOJ, defund the police, right? So we're not going to buy it. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need you to join me once again in giving Donald Trump what he deserves. Another round of booze and shame because he's lying once again his supporters are lying once again trying to make it look like he cares about law enforcement when he really doesn't let's give him some booze and shame oh, right rc does oh, oh. All right, all right, all right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to get ready to open up the boxes. I'm going to land my plane. I, I did have a couple of more topics. I did want to point out that Mike Johnson said that the Ukraine aid will come up right after recess and will include some innovations. All right, so there looks to be some hope when it comes to getting some aid to Ukraine. So I wanted to point that out, despite the fact that, you know, you got folks in the Republican Party that are trying to sabotage our government. All right, we might be getting progress. I was going to bring that up, but you know, I got to talk about one last topic before I open up those boxes. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe you know exactly what it is. All right, January 6th. All right, this is something MAGA doesn't like it. They don't like it when I bring up January 6th, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to bring it up. All right, I, I really am. Now, many of you understand the significance of January 6th in, in American history, just like I do, all right? And then I'm going to break it down to you. Uh, so what I like to do is remind America what happened on that dark and dangerous day, all right? And I'm going to tell you, we were, in the, we were in the thick of the pandemic while Donald Trump was president of the United States, right, ladies and gentlemen? You remember it. Um, and Donald Trump looked at the writing on the wall, and he understood very clearly that he was going to lose the election to President Joe Biden, all right, President-elect Biden. He knew he was going to lose, so he decided to engage in criminal activities in order to try to remain in power. Him and his inner circle put together a new, couple of things, a couple of plans that they said, well, you know what, if we pull this off, we can be President of the United States forever, right? So... They said, well, first of all, we need to come up with a way. We need to come up with a way to make sure um, our supporters, the Trump supporters, will become soldiers for Donald Trump. You know, he wanted to make them like his Confederate soldiers. Because Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, he is the modern day leader of the Confederate Army, right? And his supporters are the Confederate soldiers. So they said, what can we do to make our, the supporters turn into our soldiers? And Donald Trump says, you leave that to me. I am going to plant a seed in their minds to make them believe, all right, that the election was stolen from them. How are you going to do that, Donald? He said, leave it to me. So he goes out and he tells his supporters this. It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. You hear that? It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. That's what he told his supporters leading up to the November election, all right? And he's doing the same thing right now. He's planting seeds just like this. So, come no come election time, ladies and gentlemen, the results of the election came out and everyone in the world saw it. President Joe Biden won the election, right? Now it is time for Donald Trump to actually back off that plan and go ahead and concede to President Biden and shake his hand, all right? But we're talking about Donald Trump, right? He's not going to do that. Instead, Donald Trump says, you know what? You know that seed that I planted earlier in their minds? I am going to go water that seed with more, more lies and misinformation. So he went to go water the seed, ladies and gentlemen, when on election night, 
instead of conceding to President Biden, he went out and said this to his soldiers. It's such a big night. You just take a look at all of these states that we've won tonight, and then you take a look at the kind of margins that we've won them by, and, and all of a sudden, it's not like we're up 12 votes and we have 60% left. We won states, and all of a sudden, I said, what happened to the election? It's off. And we have all these announcers saying, what happened? And then they said, oh, because you know what happened? They knew they couldn't win. So they said, let's go to court. And did I predict this, Newt? Did I say this? I've been saying this from the day I heard they were going to send out tens of millions of ballots. I said exactly, because either they were going to win, or if they didn't win, they'll take us to court. So Florida was a tremendous victory. So and, and so... After he said that, that's him putting the water, okay, on that seed. But then he decided to take it a step further that day. And he put fertilizer on that seed to make sure that his supporters that day went from being regular Trump supporters to all of a sudden a light goes off, a little switch is flicked. And all of a sudden they go from being supporters to his soldiers, these modern day Confederate soldiers. And this is what he said. 76,000 votes with almost nothing left. And all of a sudden, everything just stopped. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. Just evil and sick stuff. But you can hear his supporters that day who had been radicalized supporting the lie. Now that they've been turned into Confederate soldiers and Donald Trump is now the modern day Confederate uh, president, you know, Jefferson Davis and his headquarters is Fort Mar-a-Lago. He decides to proceed with the next phase of the attack. All right. First, he makes a phone call. All right. To Brad Raffensperger in Georgia. This is the fake elector scheme. You want to find uh, 11,000. 780 votes, which is one more than we have. Right? So now he's pressuring state officials to find him more votes. He's abusing his power as president, right? But then he goes, you know what? While I'm putting pressure on those people, I got to let them know I mean business. I need my troops to do something for me. So this is what he does, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Attention, all Trump supporters, you are now under my control. I am your cult leader. All right, this is what he said to them. I am very angry because I lost to President Joe Biden. And it hurts me to even say President Biden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask and demand that you all do something for me. I need you all to meet me in Washington, D.C. at an event I'm hosting, not Nancy Pelosi, all right, not BLM, not Antifa. This is an event I'm hosting. And the name of that event is called Stop the Steal. And what we're going to do is we're going to break laws like we've never broken them, and we're going to stop Joe Biden from becoming president. Be here, all right? Sell everything that you have. Send the money to me. But be here. It's going to be wild. All right. That's what he told his soldiers that day. And so guess what they decided to do? Yes, sir. Couldn't wait for you to tell me to do that, sir. And so they sold all they had. They sent Trump the money. They put on those khaki pants. They jumped in the back of those U-Hauls, you know, and they put their mask on. You know, it was during the pandemic, you know, when they said we can't wear masks because if we wear the mask, we can't breathe. But all of a sudden they could wear a mask. To go meet up with Donald Trump in Washington, D.C. We're talking about the Patriot the Patriot Front, the Proud Boys, the Boogaloo Boys, right? All of them. They decided to go meet their leader, Donald J. Trump, in Washington, D.C. So when they get to Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen, you know, they were encouraged by uh, one, of their, one of the MAGA lieutenants, Lieutenant Marjorie Trader Greene, who we all know or suspect may have been 
responsible for those nasty pipe bombs planted, right? She decided to go ahead and add more fuel to the fire. Everything. If we flood the Capitol building, flood all the government buildings, go inside. These are public buildings. We own them. We own these buildings. Do you understand that? We own the buildings and we pay all the people that work in the building. We finished with our meetings here at the White House this afternoon. We had a, had a great planning session for our January 6th objection. We aren't going to let this election be stolen by Joe Biden and the Democrats. President Trump won by a landslide. Call your House reps, call your senators from your states. We've got to make sure they're on board. We already have a lot of people engaged. Okay, stay tuned. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> So Marjorie is also encouraging these Confederate soldiers to attack the United States Capitol. So it's January 6th, and there's now it's time to put this thing into motion. So Mike Pence and uh, Donald Trump, they're in the White House, and there was an exchange that I hear took place where Donald Trump tried to pressure Mike Pence to do the right thing. Mike Pence says, no, no, Mr. President, I can't break the law for you. All right. I will not do as you say, because if you do it, if I do, that means I would be placing you above the Constitution, Mr. President, to which Donald Trump responded by saying, you know what, Mike, that's your problem. You're too honest, Mike. All right. That's what he said to Mike Pence. I'll take care of this myself. So he turns to his Secret Service. Take me to go meet with my troops. Secret Service says, Mr. President. Those people are armed. They got weapons. They got tactical gear. They got chemical spray. Mr. President, he said, Trump says, well, you know what? I don't care if they're armed. I really don't. Mr. President, they even want to harm Mike Pence, your vice president. I don't care. Mike Pence is a nasty doozy word. He used the word doozy. So Secret Service, they took him to the Capitol, ladies and gentlemen. Donald Trump says, if they got weapons, I don't care. They're not there to harm me. Right? This is what he said. He gets to the Capitol at the ellipse where he looks out and he sees all of these red hats. These are the traitors. These are the seditionist trees and it's traitors. He sees all his his soldiers there and he says, now it is time to move on with the next phase of the attack. And what does he do? He encourages them to do what? Engage in heinous acts of violence. Now it is up to Congress to confront this egregious assault on our democracy. And after this, we're going to walk down, and I'll be there with you. We're going to walk down. We're going to walk down. Anyone you want, but I think right here, we're going to walk down to the Capitol. And we're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women. And we're probably not going to be cheering so much for some of them. Because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. You hear that? You hear that? That was Donald Trump encouraging his soldiers to engage in heinous, treasonous acts of violence against the United States of America. He was encouraging them to place a dagger at the throat of our democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we say Donald Trump is the dangerous, in, the most dangerous individual in the United States right now. So after he encourages them to engage in those heinous acts of violence, they begin to descend upon the United States Capitol in which... We all saw what they did on national television. All right. There was an incident that took place. They ran across one of their own. His name was Ray Epps. You know who Ray Epps is, right? And you know what they did when they saw Ray Epps? They said, feds, 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 which to me definitely is kind of interesting because this means that they believed that Ray Epps was affiliated with the DOJ. Perhaps he came in on one of those ghost buses, right? So if you know the police are there, MAGA, why'd you break the law? Why'd you break the law right there in front of the police, right? 
It's like you're going to go rob a bank and you see all these cop cars out there and you say to yourself, this is probably the best time to rob the bank. You know, I've asked thousands of Trump supporters that question and not one of them have been able to give me an answer yet. And I know why they can't, because they don't want to admit that on that day they weren't in control of their body. The MAGA demon had taken control of their body and they blacked out. They were vassals of transgression for Donald Trump that day, ladies and gentlemen, on that dark day in American history. So, ladies and gentlemen, now that we are at the crime scene of January 6th, you know, I don't I don't just like to talk about it. Right. I, I really want to make sure folks understand that this was a crime scene. All right. And you Trump supporters, no matter how you try to cover it up and say it was something other than it, other than that, that won't work. Now that we're at the crime scene of January 6th, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need you to bear with me as we talk about what happened that day with another one of those Confederate soldiers. All right. Who was committing crimes that day on behalf of Donald Trump. All right. So bear with me. I got a story to tell you. All right. And you can go fact check this and you can go look it up. All right. When they get out here and they start crying about eggs or Biden, you know, allocating funding to repair the bridge in Maryland or the gas prices. When they start talking about that, just shut them down and tell them this story. A Colorado man was sentenced to five years in prison for a January 6 assault. A Colorado man who deleted his social media posts, soaked his cell phone in water, and microwaved his laptop in an attempt to destroy evidence of his actions during January 6 insurrection, was sentenced last week to more than five years in federal prison. Jeffrey Sable, 53 of Kit Ridge, received a prison term of 63 months. He was also ordered to pay more than $32,000 in restitution and undergo three years of supervised probation once he was released from prison. A Washington, D.C. judge convicted Sable last August of three felonies at the end of a bench trial. Sable convicted of obstruction of an official proceeding, assaulting or impeding certain officers with dangerous weapons, and robbery. This is a MAGA demon, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this MAGA demon. Treason. This is what treason looks like. According to a case document and a press release from the United States District Attorney Office, Sable drove to the Stop the Steal event at the nation's capital with a group of friends who described themselves as, quote, the neighborhood watch group. All right. He packed a helmet, a trauma kit, a buck knife and zip ties for the trip. The group used his radios to communicate between the members. During his trial, prosecutors produced several images of a man dressed in a brown Carhartt jacket and teal backpack battling Metropolitan Police Department officers at the Capitol that day. That person wrestled a baton from the grasp of one officer who was lying on his back. Sable Sable used such force that the officer's torso was lifted off the ground and Sable himself fell backwards down the steps of the Lower West Terrace. All right. Just look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is some sick stuff. This is the pictures from the officer's body camera. A court document states that the officer identified only by the initials of A.W., suffered a head laceration, which required staples. Wow. Other images show that same person in the Carthart jacket helping to drag another officer down the steps and into the crowd of protesters. There, the officer was beaten with a flagpole and Officer A.W.'s baton. That officer's injuries were not serious. Look at him. Look at him. 
You see him right there? Grabbing the officer and dragging him. Donald Trump! Why haven't you visited this officer, Donald Trump, since you love the police so much? This is some sick stuff. Sable acknowledged that the video seemed to depict him throwing punches at the officer, the case document described, but he claims, get this, he claims he was patting him on the back and saying that we've got you, man. Once at the bottom of the stairs, Sable claims he covered the police officer only for his own safety while others hit the police officer with the pole. Sable admitted to investigators that was indeed him in the images. Aside from trying to destroy evidence, Sable also brought, bought an airline ticket. Get this. He bought an airline ticket to Switzerland. He was unable to board the flight, according to prosecutors, and instead rented a car and drove from Colorado to New York. <laughs> Isn't it funny how all of a sudden he wants to go to these Democrat cities when he's in trouble? And they wonder why the crime rate's going up. Because all you MAGA demons flee to those Democrat cities when you're in trouble. I get it. FBI agents arrested him in Westchester, New York on January 11th, 2021, less than a week after the incident. All right. Uh, according to his arrest affidavit, he was covered in blood due to lacerations on his thighs and arms. He allegedly made several statements to law enforcement at the time of his arrest, quote, my wounds are self-inflicted. I was fighting tyranny in the D.C. Capitol, and I am wanted by the FBI. Wow. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got to do. Number one, join me in giving this seditionist, treasonous traitor who has now been sentenced to 63 months in prison in order to pay $32,000 in restitution what he deserves a round of booze and shame <laughs> You know what we got to do because he's been sentenced and convicted for following Donald Trump and getting the ultimate MAGA reward. Let's send him off the old fashioned way. I'd like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. I immediately deployed the National Guard and federal law enforcement to secure the building and expel the intruders. America is and must always be a nation of law and order. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engage in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. You hear that, MAGA? You hear your cult leader say what he said? Those of you who engaged in those heinous acts of violence, you do not represent our country, and you will pay <laughs> you guys gotta you guys gotta wake up at some point i get it i get it that image of donald trump being a successful businessman has been tattooed in your minds because you watched that disgusting tv show called the apprentice and you were radicalized right you thought donald trump was the perfect image of what success in the united states looked like and now that image has been completely shattered. I get it. But something's wrong with you when you don't see that the, this man doesn't even care about you. You're not. All Donald Trump wants you to do is send him your money and vote for him. He doesn't care about you. And you don't get it. 
<laughs> you're not mad at me. You're mad at Donald Trump. <laughs> and I get it. I understand. Because if you think about it, you got to live with this reality. Ladies and gentlemen, these Trump supporters, you know what they do? They wake up every single day and listen to a man that paints himself orange, right? Puts a bird's nest on his head. You know what he does. All right. Puts on a diaper, soils it, right? And then he puts on that crumpled blue suit with the red tie. He gets onto his social media platform and lies, lies to you, tells you what to do every single day. And you're too scared to tell him to stop because you're in too deep. <laughs> you're in too deep. You've already given him thousands and thousands of dollars. Think about this, ladies and gentlemen. If you go over there to whether it's Truth Social or if you go over there to X, Donald Trump has ads all over these platforms begging his supporters to send him five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five dollars a month. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't make this up. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. Hold on. He says, I am very humbly asking if you could chip in five, ten, or even twenty-five dollars. I know that times could be tough, and they are tough under this horrible president that we have, Crooked Joe Biden. Oh. So if you can't contribute now, don't even think about it. Don't do it. You've got to take care of your family and yourself. I want you to do that first. But with your donation today, we will win back the White House. We will make America great again, greater than ever before, I promise you. Yeah, that. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the same guy that hasn't visited any of you hostages in prison out there in D.C. He hasn't visited you. Has he put any money on your books? Has he paid off any of your mortgages or your houses while you are all going through these hard times? <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. You got grown folks out here supporting Donald Trump in a cult. All right. And they don't get it. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. That concludes this morning's special broadcast. <laughs> and it is now time to open up those boxes and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth. You know, it's like my grandmother always says, tell the truth. And what? Shame the devil. You know the rules. You get three minutes. All right. To uh, to, to speak your truth. All right. Seriously. <laughs> Um, and, and, and the thing is, this isn't the closet of truth, right? And the closet of truth, and I haven't done one in quite a while because I'm extremely busy. Okay. But the closet of truth is where you should be able to come in and have conversations and try to, you know, I want to debate you, Zeus. But in the morning show, no, this is where we get to hear from normal Americans who care about our country and want to see it do better. All right. If you're a Trump supporter and you're triggered and you got something to say, you, you don't like something that I've said, you know, I'll hear you out. But you better come in the box prepared, like my good friend Ange says. You better come in and have your homework. Show us, get the green screen and show us the evidence of whatever it is that you think I may have gotten wrong. Because if you get in here and you start crying, I'm going to play that little violin for you and I'm going to make you famous, right? <laughs> Right, let's get up. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring up our first panelist. Who do we got? Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Who do we got this morning? All right. Good morning, Andy. How are you doing? Good morning, Zeus. Good morning. Nice to see you bright and early. I am going to say right off the bat, TikTok, this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Right. Okay. You know how they're always like trying to put meaning to something that doesn't really have meaning? Right. So, April the 8th, the eclipse is coming. Oh, okay. And the CERN rocket's going to be fired off, and there's going to be three rockets shot up into the um, sky, and the Devil's Comet's coming. All of these things are true. Wow. We're also going to get both kinds of cicadas for the first time in 100 years. Oh, really? That is also true. I did go back and check behind them to make sure this wasn't all nonsense. So, um, Right. And some of it I'm not going to mention because it's just out there. Oh, and the Devil's Comet's coming in the middle of the eclipse. Well, the Devil's Comet? Okay, okay. And so how does That's this... actually a thing. The comet shoots out gases. It looks like it has devil's horns. Oh, wow. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty so, impressive. And the CERN is trying to get the God particle. Right. 
Are you following along where they're taking this? Take, I, I, I'm still having a hard time, but go ahead. Okay, and so I was in a live, and somebody said, you just wait till April 8th. And I thought, hmm, what are y'all up to? So I go to Truth Social, I pull it up. I find all these conspiracy theories. They think Jesus is coming back. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and they're, like, preparing, like, Jesus for this Christ. major event. So I, I just thought you all should know in advance that, you know, they're a little crazy at the moment. And so, Jesus. yeah. Oh, <laughs> How do they think Jesus is coming back? And, and do they have any answer for? Is that connected somehow with Trump selling those Bibles for for sixty dollars? Maybe I don't know. They're all in an uproar because you know March thirty first was trans, Transgender Visibility Day. Okay, and, and why and are they Easter upset about that? Happened to fall on it this year. Yeah, and so they were all losing their mind all weekend. Oh. Very very upset. Oh, so once again, they're pretending they're victims about something again. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but you know, we don't allow these Trump supporters to be victims around us. Right, Andy? Right, because I informed them that Trump celebrated it in 2009. Oh, why am I not shocked? Why am I not shocked? You hear that, so, MAGA? And they've even managed to drum up some old Bible, which if you look at Luke, there it talks about there was a, um, a darkening of the sun. Well... They think it is the solar eclipse, but I went and did some further digging, oh. and there's no way there could have been a solar eclipse in Jerusalem at that time. Oh. NASA has already said so. Mm. So, um, what it was was a lunar eclipse for oh. a few minutes. Oh. And that doesn't happen again until next year, so they're going to have to wait till March 14th of next year. <laughs> <laughs> when, while Biden is president again, right? Yeah, they don't think so. They think that's something else I read. They they kind of like, can we replace him? I'm like, oh, good Lord. Yeah. So y'all, please, please understand that this is all over True Social. So it might be a problem for us. But I thought I'd share with y'all this. Thank morning. you. Well, listen, Andy, thank you so much. Because, you know, I'm always trying to keep up with all of the latest conspiracies that MAGA has. And, and that one right there is definitely one of, one of the most interesting ones. Because, you know, um, they they love... They love to proclaim that, you know, um, they get their sources, their, their information from credible sources. But once again, we found out it's all being made up and it's probably from QAnon, right? Well, well I mean, if you look at each, each event independently, you'll find grains of truth all through it. But it's not what it actually says. Right. Wow, you know, wow, wow. It's, it, was... it's a lie sprinkled, you know, truth sprinkled with lies and vice versa. Like... They say all seven planets will be visible in the sky. It'll only be six. Tell them, Andy. Tell we are them, Andy. Have, we always have um, astronomical events going on. Yes. And they never pay attention. But now all this is going on. Now they. Oh, and one of them told me that, that it was going to be the rapture. I, was it one I, of the I, Russian, I was it one of those Russian bears? I want us all to lay out clothes everywhere across every state and just <laughs> let them think we're all gone. Just a thought. Okay. Thanks, Zeus. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Andy. No lies detected. All right, you see, ladies and gentlemen, it's a show of force, all right? You Trump supporters, listen, y'all got to come up out of that cult, all right? If you do believe that Jesus is coming this, this month, all right, do me a favor and, and, and send all your money to Trump before you do, all right? <laughs> before the rapture comes, I guarantee you. You will enter into those pearly gates, MAGA, if you send Donald Trump all that you have. I'm talking 401ks. I'm talking all the Go buy all of his stocks. I mean, seriously. Sell your houses now. You don't got much time. <laughs> oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right, all right. Good morning, Polly Politics. <laughs> Good morning, champ. How are you doing? Good morning, Zeus. How are you doing? I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom, my good friend. Oh, yeah. Hey, I just want to talk. Hey, it was great being on Michael Cohen's live with you. Like, that was yeah. really, really awesome. And I really it, thought, like, we got a really good chance to, like, ask him some questions and really yeah. find out what was going on. And uh, yeah, I really think that we need a, <clears throat> excuse me, I really think that we need more opportunities to be able to do that. Yeah. I think that platforms like this are really built to, you know, for you know, everyday people like you and I to be able to talk to people like Michael Cohen and really, Amen. you know, like, because 
the, the government shouldn't be some hidden thing. It shouldn't be something that, you know, is kept behind closed doors in secret meetings, right? It yeah. should be us being able to talk to like Trump's lawyers and stuff like that. And so I just really thought that was amazing. I really enjoyed doing that with you and ZPAC and Shay, and I just thought that was like really, really great. Yeah, yes, yeah, I appreciate you coming up there as well. I mean, now here's the thing though, Polly, uh, a lot of our friends on the right, they're, they're very triggered by, by, by us doing that. Can you believe it? You know, one of them actually said to me, how could we talk to somebody that has a criminal background? Would you like to answer that question, you know, for the, for your fans out here as well? How, how do you justify talking to Michael Cohen? Uh, well, well, my first question would be uh, how they can talk to Trump with the background that he has in court. Um, Bingo! <laughs> but, but second of all, hey, the guy, yeah, he did some bad stuff. He admitted to the bad things that he did. And that's fine. And now he's coming out. He's telling the truth, just like he said on his live, right? I had to do what was the best for me. I had to do what was the best for my family, for my kids. And that was to get away from Donald Trump, right? Amen. So I, it, it's not that none of us are perfect, right? But the nope. fact that he could admit what he did was wrong and come out and testify and then, you know, go against Trump. I have no problem talking to somebody like that. Amen. Amen. You hear that? You, you so-called fake Christians that are voting for Donald Trump. Don't question us anymore. Some of us have actually truly repented and are actually doing better in life. All right. Now, now, outside of that, um, what do you think about Donald Trump and posting that photo of him, you know, of President Biden being hogged? High? That's that seems to be something out there. Uh, what would you say needs to be done about that? Well, <laughs> that is so on par for Donald Trump. And that's the sad part, right? Like yeah. things like this don't even surprise me anymore. Wow. Because it, it, he he lacks such a moral compass, right, and such an ability to actually be, you know, presidential in any way, shape, and form that him doing something like that is disgusting. What well, my problem is is for his supporters who can actually see something like that, right, and yeah. be okay with it and call themselves like, you know, the conservative, call themselves Christian, call themselves all these sort of things. When wow. the man is attacking the current president of the United States, right? And that should be a warning to anybody that's going to work in his cabinet, be his vice president. You've seen how he treats people in politics that aren't him. They will drag, he will drag you all day long. So yep. the fact that anybody wants to rep, uh, be represented by him is just insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. I completely agree. And he's threatening the judge's daughter, right? Isn't this, isn't this a cause for concern? I mean, what kind of man, especially a man that used to be the most powerful in the, in the country, attacks a judge's daughter? Yeah, I, I really couldn't believe that either. Because, you know, I saw the original gag order and that he couldn't attack, you know, um, the judge or, like, or he could attack the judge and the DA and all that sort of stuff, but no one else. I yeah. didn't even expect him to go after the judge's children, right? Wow. Like, that's so beneath, like... Yeah, a yeah. human being like a, a like a human being in general. Forget a presidential nominee, Oops. which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, but, uh, yeah. Hey, Zeus, I didn't come here to take up all your time. I'm on like my third account now because oh. I've been uh, again, you know, going wild on trying to get oh, you lately. Really? So, so I, um, did I follow this? Oh, I gotta follow this one then. Okay, all right. I'm not following this account, but I'm following <laughs> it now. All right. Thanks for letting us know. Wow, they're 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 they're, they're reporting you. Oh yeah, they're they're coming after a lot of us that do the debate shows. I've heard like people like Parker on like their seventh account right now. Wow. I'm on my third right now. Um, and so yeah, shameless plug. If you don't follow this account, please do. This is where I'll be for there for a bit. But okay. um, but yeah, guys, we got to keep out there fighting because that's all they know how to do. When they can't beat us with facts, when they can't beat us with intellect. They just tried to get us reported. They tried to have us bananaed, and that's all they got. And that is totally fine with me. Like, if that is what you have to stoop down to in order to beat me, then so be it. Tell them. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, right? Well, listen, Polly, you, you know we got your back. And as always, keep up the great work, all right? Because these folks are going to be held accountable real soon, all right? All right absolutely, really absolutely. Well, I appreciate you, dudes. Good talking to you, man. All right, all right, you two, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Poly Politics. No lies detected! Ladies and gentlemen, you see, this is what's going on right now. Trump supporters don't want Americans to know the truth. And they're going through what they're going to whatever extremes they got to, even if it's criminal, even if it's illegal, right? Immoral, they are going to do it 
to try to stop the American people from knowing the truth, right? Just like Donald Trump did in 2016, all right, while he was campaigning against Hillary Clinton, after he made that remark about grabbing women by the doozy, he didn't want to go through that again. So he, he hired Michael Cohen to uh, engage in a catch and kill scheme, right? To suppress information about his affair with Stormy Daniels, all right? A woman that he had an affair with while Melania was pregnant, all right? He cheated on his married wife with a porn star, and he hid that from the American people, and that's pretty much MAGA in a nutshell, all right? Now let's bring up my next panelist. Good morning, the beautiful Shay. Yeah, how are you doing, Shay? I'm doing good. All right, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday, April 1. Ooh, yeah. camera reveal. <laughs> how's everyone all right all right just tending to the affairs yes 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 um yeah poly politics thanks yeah that was that was really fun to be on michael cohen's live um what cracked me up the most is the absolute reaction from maga oh i mean they were so incensed i hear where the talk, i hear where the talk of the town yeah. oh what why were they upset? Why would you go and talk to Michael Cohen? He's a liar. He's a uh -huh. liar. Mm. And Donald Trump isn't. Like, hello? The man was his fixer for 10 years. He was a dirt bag. He was a yeah. scumbag, okay? Nobody sits here and says, oh, we're loving Michael Cohen. That's why we went on there. No. We actually, by chance, was able to come up. It was just something we were there to support ZPAC and his wonderful in uh, impersonation, right? At yeah, time. yeah. And it was fun to watch. And then, you know, we decided, well, we'll see if he'll bring us up. And then Greg's like, hey, I've got some friends in the chat, so hey, if you want to. Awesome, Greg. Yep. It was, yeah, it was really nice to Greg to just kind of say, hey, I've got some friends. If you want to meet them? Um, and, and listen, everybody has a chance to repent, right? Everybody Absolutely. has a chance, right, to change their stripes. And I love how he talked about this stupid rumor about him and Stormy Daniels now. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Where they're like, but there is a audio tape of him talking to Donald Trump about how he's going to get the money oh. to pay off Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal. Ooh, you hear that, Snuggles? He is absolutely <laughs> engaging with Michael Cohen and, oh, are you going to, oh, is that how you're going to, well, how are you going to get the, oh, okay, so that's what, yeah, we've got it all handled. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So in that fact, you hear Donald Trump understanding what's going on, how they're paying it off, what's going to happen. It's all on tape. I mentioned that in a live one time. You know what the response was? What's that? It was AI. Oh, they tried to say it was AI back yeah. in 2016. Yeah, wow. AI, which I'm like, wow, that's kind of funny because that didn't exist in 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they'll make any excuse they can. They'll make any excuse they can. Like, you know, there was that one video clip. All right. Thank you, Andy. All right. <laughs> there was that one video clip where Donald Trump said that he would be dating that girl in 10 years. You remember that audio oh, clip, yeah. Shay? Oh, yeah. Is and that not AI? They said it was AI too. Oh, of course. They of course excused it. But 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 if President Biden does something, oh, he's a P3DO. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, everything's AI. You know, when he's ruffling through the papers and talking to the Mark Meadows, you know, yeah. book writing staff about, you know, I've got this maps of Iran and wow. you know, Mark Milley gave this to me and I'm not supposed to you know, I could have declassified this, but now that I'm president, I can't. That's, that's AI too. Yeah, that's all AI too. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I found, I found it so hysterical. They were so angry. But the, here's yeah. the thing: the reason they're angry is, is because he is facing his first criminal trial in two weeks, and they know that Michael Cohen is the key component to sending him to jail. Bingo. So Thank they're you. sitting here. How dare you? I mean, they're just so incensed right now. Yeah. And the last thing I'll touch up on is the March 31st transgender visibility. Oh, that, yeah. Please speak on that. Thank so you, Jay. that has been around since 2009. 2009. And if you look it up, Donald Trump absolutely recognized it as well. 
So did Caitlyn Jenner. I was going to bring that proof up. But in 2017, she pictured herself with fellow trans women mm. in, in Transgender Visibility Day in honor. And these are my wonderful, beautiful women friends. Right. And now Caitlyn Jenner's coming out and slamming Biden for making March 31st on Easter Transgender Visibility Day. Are you kidding me with this? Wow. I say, if you fell for this, you're not actually Christian. You know oh. why? Because Christians know that Easter changes every year. It's not about the same date every year. If you're really Christian, you know this. So when you see stuff like he made March 31st and taking away Easter, it's like, well, if it's March 31st, it has nothing to do with Easter. It just happened to coincide with it this year. Amen. They also Amen. talk about the fact that supposedly the Biden White House has taken off all the religious symbols off the Easter eggs for today. That's not true. That has been a decree by the, there's actually an egg, um, an egg play, uh, an egg uh, group basically that has been doing this for 44 years. It's a huge, like 40,000 people will be there today. Wow. It's a huge tradition in the last 44 years. They have always asked that the winners of the contest not be overtly religious and other symbols on the eggs. Yeah, wow. Donald Trump did that too. So again, this is not an attack from Joe Biden against Christianity. Yeah. All of this has been existing, but you just believe it because that's what they're telling you. But meanwhile, there's massive pictures of Joe Biden in church because he goes to church if he can, due to his schedule. He tries to go at least twice a week, but he is almost always there on a Sunday. Amen. And I asked him, where's the picture of Donald Trump in church? He doesn't go to church. Well, how do you know? You're not with him all the time. Well, then he has really sucky PR people, okay? Yep. Not gonna get pictures of him inside a church to his followers. Yep. Like, think about this. He doesn't attend church. Exactly. And his horrific Easter message. And, and, and where's his wife at, too? I'm still worried about that. I'm still. Well, she was at Easter brunch and she looked beautiful. There are okay. images of her. Well, well, well she's. Listen, Easter brunch, so. I know a photo op when I see I'm always going to. I'm always. I, it is. But I'm always <laughs> going to be truthful, you know? She's yeah. there. So it was, but, we, but we know what real love, right? Looks like, oh. right? Yeah. Does it look like real yeah. love? No. You, okay. It I never mean, this has. Is, but. <laughs> They You're deserve right each other. Melania Trump is not a victim in any way. She, oh, she's okay. there. She's <laughs> just like him. So, uh, oh, she's oh. there for a reason. No, well, she's, Stephanie Grisham has said that. Her press secretary has said yeah. that Melania Trump. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. all right. Well, this is but Shane. Anyway, with a pleasure. I had enough time on here. Love you guys. Love Stop you falling for the BS. Stop. Just do some research. Yeah. They just get you so mad so quick. Oh my you hear God. That. Yeah. And by oh. the way, we can go anywhere on TikTok. That's all right. We can yep. talk to anybody we want to. Yep. Stay mad, pumpkins. All right. Yeah. Oh, you. stay mad, pumpkins. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. Love you. All right. Love you, too. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on. Listen, we, we, we definitely are poking the bear. Hold on. Hold on. You poke the bear? You poke oh. the bear? You're going to get the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell Zeus who he can talk to on this app. Have you lost your minds? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move it along. All right, my good friend, Takesha. Good morning, Takesha. Hey, Zeus. How are you? I'm all right. I am just fine. Happy uh, Easter. I belated Easter, right? Well, thank you, Zeus. Listen, check this out. I got about three things to say before I give you what I got. Oh. Um, Christian people cut the crap. Uh, that's how you know they're not Christians, Zeus, because uh, you know that there's no certain date that anybody knows that Christ rose. Oh. Uh. So March 31st is just a date, a day on the calendar. And it just, Easter fell on because nobody knows when he got out that grave. Mm. And if they truly were Christians, they would know that. Number mm. two, the egg has nothing to do with Easter. As far as Christ is concerned, he wasn't hatched. Oh. Nor was he buried in an Easter egg. Uh, so what 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 do, what does an egg symbolize when it comes to Christ? Uh, Are they talking about eggs in the Bible? Uh, did, did you read a chapter 
that said, um, for God oh. so loved the egg that he gave his only begotten son, or or God so loved the well, world that, that he gave his only begotten of... egg. Does that say that anywhere in the Bible, Zeus? Nah, well, I can't say I've read it, but when you said yeah, I know, it like I know, that. Zeus. And um, about the eclipse thing. Uh-huh. You, you know, that's why I tell you people need to quit taking on the word Christian when they know good and well they not picking up a Bible. Mm. They're not going to sit up under no word. Mm. They don't go to church. They do none of this stuff. <laughs> All they say is, I'm a Christian. And they can't quote you one scripture. Cut the crap. Cut the crap, Mag. Seriously. It out. Enough is enough. Wow. They, they, they scrambling eggs and they can't even quote a scripture. Ain't that something? Zeus. Somebody taking some taking a religiousness off the egg. When has the egg been in the Bible? When now, now, now we know why they was crying about egg prices, huh? These we didn't folks... even see that. the only thing we saw in the Bible was unleavened bread. Where was the egg, Zeus? Mm, they thought they was pulling up to a McDonald's and getting an egg McMuffin or something, huh? These folks crazy. I'm telling you, something is wrong. I'm done. Zeus, something is wrong, Zeus. Some, something is terribly wrong in the system, <laughs> Zeus. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah there I got is. Some, I got some for you, Zeus. Okay, But I want to say this seriously. Okay. Donald Trump is so disrespectful. Mm. And I don't understand how these people let him threaten their family and still walk around leaking, his with his cheeks leaking in the streets. Because mm. if it was me... He'd have been locked up that oh, day oh, oh, oh. for threatening my child. Oh, let's speak on it. That day he would have been locked up. Mm -hmm. They get they letting him get away with too much. Yeah. And he's not finna touch our egg. He not finna he, listen. If Talk he was on the street with that woman, he wouldn't say nothing to her because he's a coward that oh. gets other people to fight for him. Mm. Now. Yep. Here you go. Talk to him. Humpty Trumpty made a call. <laughs> Humpty Trumpty knew he lost it all. All of the MAGA and all of the tears won't change the fact he's a criminal with fears. Oh. Humpty Trumpty is dumb as hell. Humpty Trumpty will go to jail. All of the MAGA Knights and all of his friends won't get Trump back in office again there you go hey oh my god his new name, that's some heat right there his new name zeus is humpty trumpty i'm not even <laughs> calling him leaky cheeks no more he is humpty trumpty now he humpty trumpty I'm he, did, him. he didn't definitely take him quite the fall hasn't he He's i want him to go away yeah i do too it's and time for them back. to it's time for him to be put in jail at this point. I'm with you. I mean, Just seriously. Go away and if, don't come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You threaten folks' family, their daughters. You did your, your daughter. Just oh, go no. away. Mm -mm -mm. And then they get on TikTok and they defend this kind of behavior. They right? And then uh, I always say, and I'm a Christian. Oh. And I love Christ. Oh. And Christ sent Trump for it. Oh, listen. <laughs> Let me say this. And and God God allowed Saul to rule the people and he ruled them right into destruction. So don't be telling me no uh Christ sent Trump. No, he allowed stuff for a reason. For you to look like a fool because he say he he, he makes the foolish he makes the the foolish things, you know, they look, yeah. they look dumb. Yeah. He takes the wise to confound the foolish. They foolish Zeus. Tell them. Tell them to keep They You're foolish. Right. You right. You right. They definitely. Go, I'm gonna put my robe back in the closet. Okay, you know, all right, all right. I'll give you a preaching message. <laughs> Don't make me give you no Easter sunrise. Sister. Oh, listen, oh, listen. You know, only you can do it. All right. Now, I listen, know that's right, Zeus. All, all right. right, my friend. All right. Well, you have a good one, and once again, thank you for coming in the box and telling the truth and shaming the devil. You're so very welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the beautiful Takesha. No, oops, no lies, no lies for Texas. To the Christian. <laughs> to the Christian. <laughs> to the Christian. Oh, yeah, to the Christians. I hope you're listening to this special broadcast. 
to you Trump supporters, don't type another thing in my chat. Don't do it. Don't put no FJB. Don't put no Trump 2024. Do me a favor. Come real close and sit your special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast. You just might learn something. All right. That's why I think I really do believe we should make every single Trump supporter uh, pay us tuition costs. All right. Because we're out here teaching these folks. All right. Good morning, RC Dubs. How are you doing, my good friend? Good morning, Zeus. How are you doing? I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom. You know, I just uh, <clears throat> hearing them talk about blasphemy over the weekend with the Biden transgender recognition. You know, <clears throat> Trump just spent the last weekend selling Bibles with mm. an American flag on them where he added the Constitution in it as though they're just trying to blatantly tell us they don't care about the separation of church and state anymore. Wow. Isn't it right. blasphemy for a politician to be selling Bibles? Absolutely. And wouldn't Jesus want to include everybody? Yes. And freely? Because he said, freely you received and freely you shall give. We're talking about the gospel. So why are you selling it? Yeah. I mean, they're, I guess they're trying to tell me that Jesus would hate transgender people like they do. Oh, I so, never read that. I never read that in the survival scroll. Where did they get that from? I don't know. It, it's almost like they just can't stop hating people who aren't exactly like them, which is mm. the opposite of what Jesus taught. So it's Bingo. almost like they don't read the Bible. They claim kind of like Trump with his two Corinthians. I don't have a favorite verse. They're all my favorite verse. Wow. So I'm just going to assume that these fake Christians out here, when they claim plausible deniability, like I heard somebody this morning saying, I never heard Trump sexualize his daughter or tell a 10 year old he'd be dating her soon or basically confess to assaulting women. I'm just going to assume that that's what they like in a man. They like a man who brags about assaulting women. They like a misogynistic, racist, pathological, lying narcissist, because you can't tell me you don't know what he is at this point. Yeah. He's given you plenty of examples, and all of us have seen it for, what, 10 years now at least as he's been a politician? Yep. And <clears throat> I just don't see how we can keep granting them the, you know, the kind of leeway to say, yeah, maybe you didn't hear about this, and then when we play it for them, they have excuses ready-made anyway. And then they turn around and mention Ashley Biden as though that diary is anywhere near as credible as things that come out of Trump's own mouth when he confesses to spying on naked teenagers in pageants he ran. No lies detected. This is all true. So if it's blasphemous for, you know, for somebody that's president to recognize all Americans, then call me blasphemous because yep. I'll be on that side all day instead of the side of a, of a hypocritical, fake Christian, unpatriotic, anti-American pathological liar who doesn't care if his own people live or die as long as he gets to make that $60 off a Bible. No Because that's all he's ever wanted. He's only ever cared about money. He doesn't care about any of us. He especially doesn't care about his own people. I don't know how often he needs to prove that to them. When he told the Proud Boys to stand back and stand by for him, they're in prison now. Yep. When he told Ashley, Ashley uh, Babbitt to save the country, where is she? Unalived. When he, when he, when he uh, Go ahead, R.C. He told, Cook. He told Herman Cain, don't wear a mask and come to my rally. Where's Herman Cain now? Unalive. So it doesn't pay in the end to listen to Trump. I'm, you know, I'm surprised he can hold a Bible without it bursting into flames. <laughs> so they can, they can spare me with the whole who's blasphemous. Anybody yeah. that supports Trump is not only blasphemous, you're unpatriotic, hypocritical, fake Christians, and I don't want to hear nothing from you. No, nope. all of you know exactly what you've been supporting. And you just basically you've outed yourselves as being the opposite of what you claim. Amen. Tell Jesus, them, Marcy. Jesus would be ashamed and he would vote for Biden. Hey, I agree. Thank Tell you, so Marcy. You have Tell a good Mar day. I appreciate all right. It. You too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to R.C. Doug. <laughs> no lies detected. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, this is a show of force, right? I want the Trump supporters to understand how much folks in America have woken up and are standing up against Donald Trump and his legion of MAGA demons. All right. That's why when they say make America great again, I say, you want to make America great again? You know what we got to do? Deport MAGA. 
I firmly believe that if we deport MAGA, all right, send them to the edge of the universe, this country, this world would really be able to move on and do a lot of great things. But as long as we got these folks out here denying the truth, bogging our society down, this is going to be a tough uphill battle. I mean, we're not going to go back in time. That'll never happen. But the battle that we are currently engaging in must continue, all right? And it's going to continue until these folks get, get brought out of that nasty cult that they found themselves in. All right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. My good friend, Nutty Professor. Good morning, Nutty. Yeah, good morning, good morning. How's everybody good. today? Oh, we're good. We're good. We're cooking with, with Crisco this morning. So just very quickly, I want to say uh, the word tells us that no man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall come. Mm. So the fact that so-called Christians think that uh, Christ is going to come on April whatever, yeah. again, like everyone has been saying, they're not Christian. They don't know the word. So, but I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk yeah. about, I want to talk about, um, you 18 U S code section 879. Oh, this is in chapter 41 of the, of the statutes for the U S criminal code. Yeah. I believe here's why I believe Donald Trump should be in jail right now. The second, this very moment. Okay. That picture that he reached, that he retweeted, or whatever you call on True Social. Yeah. With the president of the United States bound, gagged, kidnapped in the back of a truck. Not only should he be in jail, the people who originally posted it should also be in jail. Yeah. I'm asking the Secret Service, what are you doing? Mm. What are you doing? Because this is under the purview of the United States Secret Service. Yeah. So 18 U.S. Code Section 879 is a statute that criminalizes threats against the president and other federal officials of the United States of America. Mm. That statute includes the president and vice president, mm. the, pre the president-elect and the vice president-elect, any officer next in order of succession to the presidency, members of the immediate family of mm. the president and the vice president, members of an immediate family of the president elect and the vice president elect, any former president and their immediate family, any major candidates for office of president or vice president, wow. and any other and any of their immediate family. Mm. or anyone protected by the United States Secret Service. So again, I ask, why isn't the people in jail, including Donald John Trump? Yep. What is the Secret Service doing? The Secret Service shouldn't be protecting a, a domestic terrorist. They shouldn't be. This, I, I need everybody to realize our tax paying dollars are going to protect a domestic terrorist. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm sick it and I'm angry about it. Yeah. Because when we have a federal judge going on to CNN, you know, they call it the Clinton News Network. Oh. So when we have a federal judge going on to CNN, a sitting federal judge that was appointed by a Republican president. Right. Talking about talking about the threats of this man and how his words can cause can cause violence. That's a serious thing, y'all. When have y'all yeah. ever seen a federal judge get on TV and give an interview? Never. Especially a sitting federal judge that's in charge of a case that the person who's who's done it is part of. Y'all are not think. I'm saying y'all. I'm talking to the Magites. Yeah. Y'all aren't thinking. Do y'all really, truly love this country? Y'all don't believe in the rule of law. We already know this. Yep. Because your leader doesn't believe in the rule of law. This is sick stuff. But I, I really do hope. I really do hope that some judge has the, the the cojones to put Donald Trump in jail yep because he's not going to stop he's not going to stop until someone else gets unalived and then it's too late yep 
No it's lie too late. detected. And the blood will be on their hands. It's on it's on his it's on Trump's hands and it's on his supporters' hands. So I heard my bell. Thank you for letting me up, sir. Have a great day. All right, all right, all right, all right ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up to Nutty. <laughs> no lies detected. All right, all right. I see you. I see you. All right. Good morning. My partner in crime is Foster. I see you. I see you attacking. Hey, hey, Z. hey. Happy Monday. Happy Let's Monday. Oh, you know, just another day in the kingdom, you know. Look like you're feeling fine, looking yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 fine. yeah. You know it, you know it. Oh, yes. And you are too, I can see. All right. <laughs> or I can hear, yeah. I should say. <laughs> well, you know, first of all, I want to give a shout out to those who can tell the difference between a fake and a real Christian. Let's go. Jim. Right? Yep, because you know, it got to be a special somebody to know that whether yeah. you believe in that ideology of Christianity, you know, with all of that. But, you know, I also wanted to kind of bring up the fact that there's a lot of propaganda going on on Facebook in particular. Oh, and YouTube. Oh. Um, I've seen it on there, too, where, you know, Putin is pushing this thing out where he has this vault of uh, uh, artifacts that, um, you know, reflect the lies that, you know, YT people been telling all these years and whatever. Talk about it. Exposing the colonialism, if you will, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, what they were teaching Oh, this, this, this is serious. And this that, is serious. You know, black, yeah, there's a black Jesus, actually. It's not, you know, the same imagery that, you know, folks have been accustomed to. Right, right. right. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's mighty funny how this all coincides, right? Because... He was pushing this out during, quote, Holy Week, right? Yeah, during the yeah. Holy Week situation. And then here comes Donald Trump with this ridiculous Bible. They're coordinating. Right? And and grifting, of course, on top of everything else. You know yeah. what I mean? Because, see, what Putin understands, and I know he does, because, you know, one thing he is not is stupid, right? Mm, right. And so he knows that Donald Trump needs the black vote in this country. Correct. Okay, because without black people, African-American people's votes in particular, it, he don't stand a chance in hell, period. Nope. No, that's why they pushed the narrative. Yeah, Biden said, if you ain't black, then you ain't going to vote for me or whatever the case. You yeah. know what I mean? That's yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, it's just mighty funny how all these things. So you have to pay attention and connect the dots. The All of these things happen for a reason. The same way how he, you know, planted the seeds about the election being stolen if 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 this and that and the third happens, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making sure that all of those things happen, right, in the minds of his MAGA supporters. You know what I mean? And here we yeah. are, right? Yeah. But yeah, it's mighty funny that you, you know, all of But you know things. what? You know when you brought up the fact that Putin is releasing evidence to show Jesus was black and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and, and and you know what that does in the black community? It gets, right, exactly, they, exactly, it, exactly. It, exactly. Oh, it's gonna radicalize them, they mind from what they used to. Oh yeah, you know I knew that was knew it was no white Jesus. Nasty. You know what I'm saying? Quote unquote for educational purposes only. TikTok, yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, this is what we are dealing with you know yeah. what I mean? this and, is it's interference on both sides of this fence and that's why trump is in bed with him there yeah. is no denying that and i know that everybody in the country knows that right yeah yeah you got to yeah I mean, whether you on one side or the other side or independent side you know that he is definitely you know with this uh Putin dude, right yeah yeah, but the, you know, on, on that note, though, right? To my fellow, uh, I, I want to call them brothers and sisters, right? But I'm just gonna call you, you, you maga demons of complexion. All right, listen up. <laughs> I think, like that. Think, think critically. <laughs> why, why all of a sudden is this information now coming out? Because if you're gonna go down conspiracy theory land, you got to start really go. Why all of a sudden in 2024 is Putin now telling your special behind? That Jesus was black. He could have did this a long time a ago. A long time ago. Think a about long. it. He wouldn't be okay. He's sitting on this vault, y'all. Where is this vault? Yeah. Where is it? I mean, he would be standing in front of that. I mean, if he really wanted to get down and dirty with it, he would be yeah. all up in it. You know what I mean? He's sitting at this desk, Zeus. You know. Yeah. 
when you see this propaganda in, in its raw form, right? I, I've seen it. Desks. He got these little artifacts and he opening it up. He got these paintings behind him and all this crap. <laughs> like, wait a minute, <laughs> yo. You know what I mean? And this is what he doing to our people to erode the brain. Now, I, they want I, you to believe I don't that. disagree. I mean, because where was the whole biblical, um, you know, everything going down in biblical times was definitely in Africa. We yeah. cannot deny but that. Do, right? But do you see Putin on his knees bowing and worshiping black Jesus? Or do you see Donald Trump doing that, uh, Ms. Oh uh, No, no, absolutely not. No, <laughs> absolutely yeah, not. Went. Uh 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 no <laughs> absolutely not neither one of them is thinking about a church to go into them or because they know they probably would incinerate like somebody said oh my god uh, oh my but god. yeah you know what i'm saying i mean that was just one thing that i wanted to bring up and the yeah. other thing that i wanted to bring up was the fact that um well, I was going to talk about Gavin Newsom and his cameras. You know what I'm saying? That he got going on. He He's uh, installing 480 cameras. Oh. 190 of them or 200 of them is going in Oakland. And I just wanted to know. <laughs> Man, stay I just to know where, you know where you stand on that. Oh, 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 listen, it, can, listen, it can be, listen. you know, out of the way or whatever. And it's all throughout the East Bay. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 but yeah. yeah. Primarily, you know what? Uh, you know what? Uh, unfortunately... Uh, you know, we found that it was the Republicans who were organizing retail theft. You heard about this? Mm -hmm. it, yes, was a, I did. It, was, it was a Republican woman, I guess, that was organizing this retail theft that was occurring in these Democrat cities. So, mm -hmm. you know what? If I have to give you a political response, right, I'm going to give you one. All right. Thank you, Gavin Newsom. For helping to track down all these MAGA demons okay. who are launching these waves <laughs> of crime in these Democrat cities. All right. Unfortunately, there are some casualties of war because I am aware there are some Latinos and blacks for Trump who are also part of this crime ring, right? Right. Right. So <laughs> now I, mean. I was wondering if you were gonna respond like that because that's how I see it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. you know. You or I, we ain't out there crying. We ain't out there doing, you know, spreading propaganda, you know, throwing flyers down from helicopters and all Absolutely that. Absolutely not. Crap. You know what I mean? We're not doing all that. So it's, it's you know, not a, not of a concern yeah. of that statue. But I want to see how many of these MAGA demons become exposed yeah. behind all of that. So, yeah. Yep. We're going to catch them. We're going to catch them. And guess what? We, <laughs> might even, we might even catch uh, Trump on one of them cameras. So, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Well, you know, it's somebody that supports me if it's not him and himself, you know. Yeah. I mean? But yeah. you know, Trump would never come to Oakland. Absolutely. Never right ever about that. come to Oakland. When has he ever been to Oakland? <laughs> never in his life has he ever been. I mean, he will not ever step foot in Oakland. Nasty. I guarantee You're right. you that. You're right. You know? well, listen. All right, Miss Bosley. Anyway, thank you so much, Zeus, for having me up. You You're know, welcome. All right, much. I love you too. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all out in these streets. Take all right, you. all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Miss Boss Diva. No lies detected. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, where did the time go? All right, good morning, Ange. How are you doing, Ange? Oh, good, oh, good morning. How are you? I am all right. Just another day in the kingdom. Another day in the kingdom. Yes. <laughs> uh, so. I wanted to talk a little bit about, do you remember, um, I don't know if you covered it in your monologue, I was kind of getting some stuff done, my mother's coming today. Anyway, uh -oh. uh, yeah. you gotta be on your best behavior. Oh, I know, I don't know if I'll be able to be on lives tonight, uh -oh. I gotta keep uh -oh. it clean. We'll Family first. Family first. Yes, yes. First. Uh, well, she'll go to bed, but I don't want her to, to hear me. Oh, anyway, okay. Uh, I get so, you. Anyhow, uh, this Judge Esther uh, Salas, do you guys remember what happened with her? She was a... U.S. District Attorney um, in New Jersey. Uh oh, what happened? Um, uh, someone unalived her son. Some what? crazy person went to this judge's house, and her son answered the door, and he was unalived. Wow. And here's the thing: I'm so worried that this is what it's going to come to, in order for Trump to finally face some accountability and have his rear end put exactly where it belongs, where you would be, where I would be, where anybody in this chat would be. And for MAGA, I do not understand why you are defending somebody who is getting the special treatment that you would not, because your behind would be in prison for all of these things that he has done. You are so effing delusional. It's, it's insane. I've been talking, you know, I do more lives now. And, yeah. Uh, Dubs heard it this morning. I think Heaven did. We had a guy, play we were playing the clips 
of the things that Trump says about his daughter having schmecks in common with her and wanting to date her. And he said, oh, he's just joking. That's, that's not a joke. Like, that, that's a disgusting joke. Like, if my dad, may he rest in peace, said anything like that to me, I would disown him. I would. Tell him. I, I love wow. that to pieces, but if you want to talk to me or about your, your child about that, I mean, how is that a joke, Zeus? Can please? I, I don't. It's not a joke. That's disgusting and it's evil. It truly makes. I have a thirteen-year-old daughter. It makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah. Anybody, anybody in my family said anything about like that? About I disown them. Yeah. It, I would disown them. It's not a freaking joke to talk like that. And it's so frustrating to play these clips and all the context and all. Yes, or when he said the one that he was going to date that girl in ten years, right? Remember oh that? my God! Yes, just another example. Oh, that it's just a joke. And I just want to touch on fascism for a minute, okay? Go ahead. We've Ange. been discussing that in my lives, and I just want to read just a few of them real quick. This this fascism is a disdain for human rights identification of enemies as a unifying cause, supremacy of military, rampant sexism, controlled mass media, obsession with national security, religion and government intertwined. Does that sound familiar? Yep. Labor power suppressed, obsession with crime and punishment, rampant corruption, and claims of fraudulent elections. Did we not just check all the damn boxes for fascism, people? I only read wow. like 10 of them or whatever. But I think we checked all of the boxes. You checked them all, and you checked them at least 20 times each, and exactly. wow. And this is what I've been trying to cover with these people. And I, I don't know how on God's green earth, I'm sorry, I'm slamming my papers around now, you can deny that that's what this man is doing. He screeched about it all weekend. Easter weekend, Mr. Religion is just screeching in 77 posts, all in caps, just freaking the heck out, you know? That, yep. That's how he spent Easter weekend. I mean, I'm not Christian. I grew up Catholic. I am now agnostic. I respect everybody else's religion, and I know yeah. my my Christian friends respect mine. But don't claim to be one. And the people that are Christians that are saying you are Christians, don't think you're better than me because I'm not. Because you know what? I'm a far better person than you. Because Tell I them. can recognize a gosh dang schmex predator and, and and be disgusted by it while you still support it. So anyhow. Thank yeah, you, There's Ange. my rant of the day. Thank That's you, fine. everyone, for listening. You're and, welcome. And um, I'll see y'all out on the streets. Thanks for having right. me, Zeus. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up to the beautiful Ange. <laughs> Morning star. I see you, Tiffany. I see you. All right, let's bring up our next panelist. Who do we got next? All right, I'm trying, I'm trying to get through uh, to, to the ones that I know I got to get to, all right, before I get up out of here. Good morning, Attack. Yeah, that, yeah, that was terrible. The judge's son, that was done in 20, in 2020. Yes. It was horrible. It's horrible. But anyway, um, the thing is this, you know, talking about Joe Biden, um, I brought this up in my broadcast in regards to Trump I get so angry when I the see only this. the only the only former president selling Jesus to Christians for a profit. Wow. Uh, when you can get a free Bible online, the Constitution online, the the uh, uh, everything he's trying to pawn. You guys are buying Christianity from a person who has literally said on stage he does not and never has asked God for forgiveness. Sick. I made a video of this. I made a video at five o'clock this morning about this. He is selling you a Bible that you could get for free. Sick stuff. And, you know, talking about people being jealous, I, I was sent this and I made a video of it. Oh, you made you a video. Fake, you fake Christians. Oh, that's J Bear's writing. Yes. You fake wow. Christians followed Trump and believe every lie. This man was fooled by Trump for 10 years. He was his attorney. He was his go-to guy. He was his fixer. Wow. He's the one who did the dirty work for Trump. Now that he's telling the dirty work that he did for Trump, and our friends go up and talk to him to get the information that he can talk about because he is going through litigation, you guys don't give a damn about what Donald Trump does. 
Wow! You don't care that he assaults women, assaults children, lies, cheats, steals right in front of your eyes. You don't care that he puts a target on a sitting president's head. Wow! Where, where, Kathy, where Kathy Griffin held the head of Donald Trump and was immediately investigated by the FBI... Her, her her career took a tank for a while, and yet Donald Trump can can repost a sitting president tied up in the back of a pickup, and you guys are good with that. Wow. We have told you and played videos and audio of Donald Trump saying that he and his daughter have relations in common, that he would date his daughter if she wasn't his daughter that he walked into dressing rooms of naked underage teens. Mm. All of you, everything that we play you, you say it's all fake, big deal. I don't care about what he did 20 years ago. Well, okay, fine. Well, but what about it, what he's doing now? Mm. Assaulting women, verbally, lying about what has transpired in regards to a civil case. You guys say it's okay that he did it because it's civil, not criminal. Yep. It's okay if a man comes up to you and sticks his fingers in your hoo-ha as long as it's civil. Wow. Uh, you don't care that he, that his daughter told another model, hey, when she was told, your dad walked into in our dressing room as we were naked. Yeah, he does that. It's in an article. It's in a news article. You can read it. But yeah. some of you fake parents out there. You would let your children be, be babysat by Trump. I'm sorry to say. They You're a horrible are. parent. You're a horrible Christian. You're a horrible human being. You're a horrible person. Bottom line. Sick. You're a disgusting human being if you follow Trump. By the way, <clears throat> we can all have opinions. But truth is truth. There is no alternative truth. There is no fake truth. There is no Donald Trump truth. Truth is truth. You're letting him attack our legal system, our judges, our DAs, our witnesses, and our juries. And you're okay with that. Sick. What is wrong with you people? Seriously, what is wrong with you guys? There is nothing ethically or morally in your blood system that has any credence to anything that comes out of your mouth. You're nothing but a fake human being. Mm. And by the way, you're one of these fake Christians is fake from head throughout her entire body enhancements. You're fake all the way to your toes. Mm. And normally being a 65 year old man, I do like enhancements, mm. you know, mm. but not to disgusting human beings. You know, wow. but, and if you don't like what I say, I don't give a darn. Make a video of me. Make posts of me. By the way, this is a media source. Yep. Tell them attack you. Wow. Under, under, understand anything you say doesn't bother me and it shouldn't bother you. But you know why things bother you that Zeus says or I say or RC says or anybody else is because your brain is calculating out everything that we say. And it comes back to say that you are a disgusting person. Yep. So that means you have to fix yourself. You're not a Christian. You piss on the, on the Bible. And you believe Donald Trump is the chosen one, as he said, on the White House lawn. Yeah. You're disgusting human beings. And I really wish there was some way that we could deport you yeah. to some place where really people like you would be handled in an inappropriate manner mm. physically like to a colony in russia perhaps oh yeah putin would love you people you you fit right in i'm gonna yeah. drop everybody all right be good everybody be safe all right all right all right ladies and gentlemen let's give it up to brother attacking no lies attacking <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen, uh, unfortunately, it is now time to land the airplane and Zeus must depart and tend to other affairs in the kingdom. All right. I am so, so sorry. I know. I know. I know. We can do this. I wish we could do it all day long. I really do. So 
before we land this plane, all right, you, listen, get your luggage out. I must conclude by saying this. All of you Trump supporters have been exposed once again for being the liars. Thank you, Royal D, for the subscription. For being the seditionist, treasonous traitors that you are. Donald Trump is not a Christian. He's a grifter. He's a snake oil salesman. He's an s -air. He's a treasonous cult leading orange. I can't even say it. And you all worship him. Don't you dare make another video about Zeus talking to anybody I want to talk to on this app without first looking in the mirror at yourself and looking at the real problem in the United States. I could tell you something, but you know what? I'm gonna say this, Jay Bear, you do need to repent. You really need to seek professional help, all right? Because you're losing it. You're unhinged, all right? And Snuggles, you too. Look at what you've done on this app. You've got all of these nasty MAGA demons, these traitors believing your nonsense. And guess what? It's not going to work because this November, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Biden will be reelected and there won't be a red wave because Americans all across this country are starting to wake up and realize just how dangerous Donald Trump and his supporters are. Right. All right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of my panelists, to all of my subscribers, to all the gifters and my moderators. Thank you all. You've done an outstanding job helping to make this show exciting, educational and entertaining. <laughs> I really do appreciate you. All right. Uh, but you know what we got to do? One more round of booze and shame to the Zeus haters, right? To our critics, to our detractors, to those who continue to peddle misinformation and disinformation on behalf of Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin, a.k.a. Um, the Russia and Kremlin. All right. They peddle misinformation and are causing all this division in our country. They don't care about truth. They dwell in the pits of hell. They love darkness. Let's give them one last round of booze and shame. All right, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here. Take care and stay safe out here in those TikTok streets. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Thank you, Donna. Sheila, thank you. All right, I really do appreciate you. Lady Vanessa, thank you. Jeffrey, let's go, Mr. Incognito. When I'm walking like Zeus, this is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. All right, I love you all, little hugs. I'm higher than the eagle, I got bread on me too. Hey, I'm and I'm feeling brand new. Thank you, Mr. Gun. I got money in my mind. I can't hang around with you, you fall in love with you. You are high risk, it's all in the mix. I put a belly in the mix. This is where you're at. I didn't know you were there. Let's go, Mary Soft. I don't care. Yes, with the truth. Hey, Gordon Stark.
Sometimes music helps you learn, all right? There's a new uh, song I want you to hear. Jack is a trumpeter. His wife's a trumpeter. His family is a trumpeter. They, all hate him. Oh, they hate him with a passion. They'll do anything they can to hurt Trump. <laughs> he's a harasser and an abuser. Oh! He's a big trumpeter. Oh, right. He's a trumpeter. And his wife is a trumpeter. <laughs> Jack Smith. What? Jack Smith. He's a Trump hater. His wife's a Trump hater. His family is a Trump hater. They all hate Trump. Get her dead! He's a harasser. Get her dead! Jack Oh my God! Oh the ball! Jack Smith is coming for you! <laughs> Run the snuggles live, Uncle Tom! Snuggles can save you! And he's a big And I'm a tough man, too! Alright, I gotta get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Take care and stay safe.